Crème de menthe pronounced came DMT, French for mint cream, is a sweet, mint-flavored alcoholic beverage. Its flavor primarily derives from Corsican mint or dried peppermint. It is available commercially in a colorless version called white and a green version colored by the mint leaves, or by added coloring if made from extract instead of leaves. Both varieties have similar flavor and are interchangeable in recipes, except where color is important. It has 25% alcohol by volume. Creme de menthe is an ingredient in several cocktails, such as the grasshopper and the stinger. It is also served as a digestive and used in cooking as a flavoring see mint chocolate. It is also a primary component of the popular South African shooter known as the springbokki. The traditional formula steeps dried peppermint or Corsican mint leaves in grain alcohol for several weeks creating a naturally green color, followed by filtration and addition of sugar. Music Sergei Rachmaninoff, although otherwise a teetotaler, found that a glass of creme de menthe steadied his nerves when playing the technically demanding piano score in the 24th variation of his Rhapsody on a theme of Paganini. He nicknamed the 24th the creme de menthe variation. <laughs> Popular culture In The Visitors Sketch in a 1969 episode of Monty Python's Flying Circus, Terry Gilliam plays an extremely effeminate, flamboyant, and stereotypically gay character, whose regular drink is a pint of creme de menthe. In British comedy Black Book's titular character Bernard Black mistakenly serves Manny someone else's creme de menthe during a drunken job interview. On episode 22 of season 2, the sitcom Friends, The One with the Two Parties. Character Phoebe Buffay offers a creme de menthe to Leonard Green to try and stall him from running into his wife. On episode 7 of season 3 on the Stars show Outlander, titled Creme de Menthe, character Jamie Fraser Sam Hewen hides a murder victim in a cask of creme de menthe. He assures his wife, Claire Katrina Balf, that no one will find him because he has never seen a Scotsman drink the said liquor before. In the first season and twelfth episode of Mad Men, there is a shortage of booze during an office party for the presidential election. In response, members of the party raid a supply closet and fill an entire water cooler with creme de menthe for the party to enjoy. In the movie 28 Days Later, character Frank suggests that they offer glasses of creme de menthe to Jim and Phoebe in honor of their first meeting. 